Alrighty ho ho. A little bit of turn the camera on and show something. I'm sort of going to struggle to get enough content to um, chuck a video out there every week just about. I mean, filling tanks isn't exactly riveting YouTube footage. But yeah, where these were badly dented and a lot of bodywork required, obviously I put a layer on and I knock it off, put another layer over the top, slowly build, get it up to shape. And it's like, man, you're going to use a lot of, a lot of sanding time. So I got a wood rasp. Got a few tools laying around here. This one's blunt, but that's okay. The backside's still sharp. And I'll, I'll sit here and I've, yeah, I've, I've shaped this roughly, trying to get that rib on there to look like the weld of the seam in the tank. This is the bottom. So, yeah, good place to learn. Um, yeah, I'm going to sand it off with the air sander in a minute and we'll see what it comes up like. And obviously, do a bit more touch up work. So, I can get my mobile seat around. Um, like I've sanded the bottom of the tanks off. I know the camera doesn't show um, the humps and hollows. So, yeah, over there and to the touch where I've circled it, still a slight depression. You can see it when you sand over it. You're touching either side and not in the middle. So yeah, places like that, start back here and I'll fill right over to there. I've had another go at the side. The tank is upside down, obviously. This is the side that was um, side swiped on the passenger side for us. So yeah, a bit of a high spot just there, but it's the aluminium. I don't want to go hitting it. I hate to think the whole tank might suck in. Not too bad. I've got to build the rib on here a little bit more, maybe. And to the touch, for a first time caller doing body work, obviously I'll get the body man to come and do a full inspection on what I've done and get him to correct me where I've gone wrong. Obviously, paint doesn't hide mistakes, it's not a filler, so we need to get it right. So the bottom of the tank here, you'll see here where I've still yeah, got a rough fill. So I use my wood rasp, I've knocked the high spots off and I'll start filling from back here and I'll fill again over that. It needs yeah, quite a bit of filling in there. But I can only go from this here, because this is pushed in, I'll fill a little bit there to hollow. But that's my starting point, because I can't get this out or coming up to get the roundness back in the tank. It's not too bad. And I'll build from here, and I'll just build up to this end here. The only person who's ever going to see under there is a cyclist I've run over, or the inspector when we go for our inspection for a certificate. So the other tank, um, I'm working on that this morning. I did a big fill on the ends. I can still feel, you can feel it to the touch. Yeah. As I said, I'm not a body filler. I have no experience. I'm personally happy with it, but only the professionals will tell me. Got another layer on there. That is bottom. Bottom. Ah, oh, sorry, that's the front. So yes, we will see it. There was an area in there I just wasn't happy with. So I've done from there right around as you can see I'll give that it's nearly hard now I'll resand that but I can sort of see the ends for the bolt filling so it's moving along I'm pretty happy with that the the window mask um, that was across the road um, it's getting fixed I'll try and get over there with the camera. He only has the weekends to work on it. And he's he's quite a clever little engineer when it comes to sheet metal, well beyond my skills. I just yeah, chucked it across there. I'll try and grab a couple of shots and we'll see how it's coming along. I have great confidence in what he's doing. As I said, I'd go from a rectangle window to a round window if I tried to fix it. It would be shocking. I just don't have the correct welder or tools to work with that material. As I say, we'll try and have a catch up and I'll chuck the shots up and see what he's done. Okay, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up or not. 
I'll just sort of show you the edge along here before I have a go at straightening it. So this is the roof cap and where all these rivets are, or huts have pulled, it's all dished in. So I haven't ever attempted at straightening them out. Not a body worker, never done it. So I got a bit of, I don't know what it is, a bit of brass, bronze uh, hex stuff here. Copper hammer. So I've gone along this edge. The main front cap piece. And I just, I just lay that on there like that. And I just obviously hammer up to it. I do both sides, go along one side, then I go along the other. So try and pull it back in. I've had to go along this end here. Just try and pull all these holes back out flush. So when we seal it, we're not yeah, fighting against high and low spots. I've got to try and Turn, your, turn the camera on and catch a few things. Haven't really done any filming the last couple of days. I've been here, I've been doing stuff on it, but not a lot. It's been very cold. Um, the tanks, yeah, I just keep having a go at those. I sort of think, oh yep, I'm, sort of, I'm done, but then the next day I've come here and just close your eyes and run your hands over them and things I can feel I just you'll still see my black mark there I just get a marker pen and I just mark the areas don't feel right and I'll have a go at filling them we're certainly narrowing it down same on there just where the band sits it's just a little bit pitted I'm just Keep showing you a couple little bits I do, like this roof cap. Go along with the wire wheel and I'll um, clean all this up. So to get that off, you'll see this big mess in here. I just used my um, gas bottle with blow lamp on it. Just had it, only just had it going. Not very much heat at all. Well, it is hot, but it didn't have a big flame. But I just warmed it, went along with a scraper and scraped all that off she's pretty stuck on there you know wire wheel it as I say and start and do the repairs on this roof cap because somewhere over here I know it's at the front right oh, there where the um, visor has been mounted the roof's pulled I need to repair that I'll carry on. I just wanted to put it out there. There's a few other guys I obviously follow on YouTube. I don't know if it's a good thing to talk about other people or not. I recommend their channels. Um, as you know, I watch Twin Sticks and um, Mike the Truck Nut. And there's RJH. I'd have to check his channel. I think it's RJH. Might be trucking or um, he's probably going to watch this and laugh at me. I think he's I think he's from England, but he's got an older 352 um, Pete, and I watched his last video, and he's talking about where he's trucking from, and where to with his destination, I was like, man, I actually messaged, well, put a comment in there, deserves a medal, the amount of miles he's doing in that truck, and he is fixing it on the, on the go as well. What a credit to the guy. I mean, everybody out there's got their half a million dollar trucks on the road and all the latest technology. And here he is with a, I'll take a guess, it'll be mid 80s, I assume. 
um, with, an old, with a Cummings in it, running at 2100 RPM all day long, and yeah, no creature comforts. It's just, yeah, it amazes me that people still want to do that. I suppose one of them is me. I mean, here I am doing an older truck, but yeah, it's, I'd be lucky if I drive it five times a year. It's not going to go anywhere and do much with it. But yeah, that guy, I, I don't know. I just enjoy watching him. He's a bit of a go-getter, likes to get things done. Right, I just love it when mail turns up. The missus was up before me and she went out to the letterbox and she's like, some big boxes there. And I was like, yep, don't you worry about that. They're mine. So, let's see what we got. I set up my own Amazon account. So I don't have to do it through her anymore. So she has no idea what I order. Door handles. This is going to be like a lottery. I might win, I might lose. The chances are I'll probably lose. They'll be the wrong ones. They look right in the pictures. Ooh, what do we got there? Need help with heavy duty cross reference? Yep. Have a look. One thing guaranteed, I can't send it back. Mm, nicely packaged. Oh, if it doesn't fit, I'll keep them and sell them to the next person. Tell them, yeah, yeah, that'll be right. That'll be the one. That's what you need. Three hole mounts, that must be passenger's side for us. Lock looks the same. All that, I'll go and check it soon. Looks good. That one. Two. Part numbers. 5401, 5402, right hand side. What do we got in put tape on everything. Some front hubs, oil hubs, trailer hubs, hub safe seals, covers. Oh, I'm going to set that up there in a minute. We'll go for a walk and maybe we'll a spare cap. It's cool. The truck's got two different um, type of caps on there at the moment. One's a bit like this, but it's all faded and yeah, I just didn't want to muck around with that type of thing. Just put good stuff on, get it right. So I need to check all the front wheel bearings. I haven't touched that mechanically yet. And two diff breathers. Probably can't see that, but... Cool. Check that the right threads in a minute. And some um, cleaning brushes uh, for somebody else. Did, did me a favour and he was trying to source these here. And I said, oh, I'll just grab them for him. So I'm going to drop those off to him later. All right, one box down. Right, the next one. Yes, we got two boxes. That's why I'm so excited. Just love ordering things. Parcels turn up. Not like old twin sticks. Man, they get some stuff sent to them, those people. I know they're big YouTubers and they've got a lot of followers and people want to get their product out there and get it seen. 
I think it was Blue Eti, is it? Those um, powered units. I could have had that in brief, but yeah, it's just incredible amount of stuff. I have the numbers to justify all that. Plus, those people don't want to send to the other side of the world either. Roof lights. Some roof lights. Did they come with screws? Probably not. Oh yeah, hardware's in there. Take my words back. There. Cool. A bit of a look at one of these. Let's see what they look like. Shiny plastic, LED. It's alright. I mean, the ones which are on there are plastic as well. So, got the ribbon. Head. Yep. I only went with uh, one right in there. Five. It's only five on the roof. I didn't double up or anything. So I'll drill more holes than necessary. Well, that's awesome. Got the hardware. We're getting there. Just keep ordering stuff because sometimes you don't know how long it's going to take for it to turn up. This stuff will really arrive fast. It's incredible. Right, get that off. So that's awesome. A lot of cool things. We'll go for a walk and See if we can break the bad news to ourselves. But these probably aren't going to fit. On, on the um, Amazon site, they did give all the dimensions, hole centers, and I did try and measure, but take the gasket, that'll do. Go for a walk. It looks the same. Awesome. Yeah, you can see that's an old style flat one. I don't know. That could be genuine, eh? I really, I don't know anything about them. Oh, okay. Go over these. Obviously, that's sticking out. It's got to go in a long way yet. Still going to be in flush with the wheel nuts. Right. We haven't got any curbs that high around here. Just bridge and buttons. Even the one on this side here, it's obviously a different style again. Mm, that's better because we can get the gasket on that one. Fill it through the oil, through the glass. Yep, that's awesome. Got one thing right. Oh. Go for a walk and we'll try this in the diff. I don't know what it, uh, this might be a problem. Somebody has put the roof cap on there. Alright, we'll sit that there. Sorry, it's getting a bit dark down in here. I have a cap in there at the moment. Took me a while to understand pipe threads and how they give you the dimensions for them. Did I get the right one? Yes, I did. Yep. So that's it. Cool. 
So I ordered two of those. The gearbox one is great. I took it out and had a look. And it's essentially a different thread size too, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's had no moisture around it. These ones have gone rusty. The other one's still in up there in the cap. They haven't rusted right through. So obviously I'll do all the diff oils. They're, they're at the current level, they're not over full. But I haven't taken the drain plugs out. There could be water in the very bottom of them. I'll check on that. I was just going to look for the paperwork for you. If I can find it. Breathers. Uh, maybe I would have read that. It's not focusing. Uh, inch and a half. Uh, three eight PTF SAE short. That's what they are. Thread wise. Oh, that's a good day so far. I'll put those somewhere and I'll lose them. All. I'm slowly stockpiling a lot of parts here. Um, of things I've ordered. See, I'm, going to, I'm going to go and lose those. That's what I'm going to do. I'll put them in the parts department over here. Put them on the couch. No one comes to see me. I have no visitors. Right, we're going to have a look at one of these door latches. And that should be. Show me that one there. It's looking good. And that lines up. Oops, sorry, we could make that work. Let's check the inside. Even got that on there. Yeah. Oh, we need some sealant to put behind it when we put it all in. I haven't figured out how we're going to fi fix them in there yet. Um, need to talk to me in a town, see if he's going to get a hut gun or yeah, whether we're just going to go to a, a normal style rivet and we'll dress the rivet heads up to make them look right. This truck's actually got quite a few um, normal rivets in it already. Around the back here. And here. There's one there. Another one. Whole row of them on here. That's what they've done on the to refit this panel. They're okay. As long as we dress them up, seal them. I'll put something on there and file it off and make them look right. Just so the water tight as well. Right, I've come across the road to where I'm getting this window mask fixed and we'll have a bit of a look at it. So we're looking at the um, bottom right hand corner here, driver's side for us. It's manufacturing all this piece in here. Made these. A lot better job than I would have done. So the next thing we're going to do is just go along. I'm going to cut this off through here all the way and give the rubber a new piece to sit on. As you can see, this is what he's dealing with. And on the top, a little bit hard to show you, but he's um, folded a whole new piece because it had corrosion on the back side in here up on the top. So instead of just cutting it off like we are on the bottom and replacing where the seal's going to sit, he made a decision to fold a piece and yeah, replace that whole lip. I'll try and bend it around a bit. Replace this whole lip up in here, down around. So really pleased with how that's come out. It's done a good job. Still got a long way to go, but looking really good. Let's fix all this up in here. Yeah. 
a lot of work to manufacture that, profile that out and get the shape right and get those bent up. Looking good.